Jesus said unto them, Go ye into all the world, and preach the gospel to every creature. Evangelist David Bybee has been called and anointed by God to fulfill the scripture. Now, let's join Evangelist David Bybee in the worship service at the Crossroads Community Church, Carthage, North Carolina. Hi, I'm Evangelist David Bybee, and I'm fixing to do something mighty, mighty crazy. Uh, you know, we've been on television for between 25 and 30 years, all over the United States and around the world. And you've never seen me begging for money on TV. But right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask everyone that's watching, if you've never sown seed in God's ministry, if you've never, ever given, you know, some of you have never given because you were taught from a very young age that you're not supposed to give to ministers or churches as a ripoff. Well, that may be true, but I'm asking you to test God. He tells us in Malachi to test him, try him, and see if he isn't. One that will open up the windows of heaven and pour blessings out upon you. He also tells us in Luke 6.38 that if we give, he'll give back to us. I'm asking everyone that's watching this program today to make a pledge to send $1 a month to this ministry. I'm not asking you for $1,000 or $100 or uh, $50. I'm asking you to make a pledge to send $1 a month, $12 a year. Test God and see what that $1 a month does to your household. See what it does to your finances. Many of you are burdened down with financial burdens that, uh, that are just driving you crazy. Send that $1 a month right now. Write down the address on the screen. Slip a check, money order, whatever, into the mail, and just see what happens. Test God. Not me, because I'm not promising you anything. I'm just telling you that God says in his word that he will bless you. Try him and see if he's a true God. See if he's telling the truth. Send $1 a month to the ministry. Now, you say, well, what good is $1 going to do? It's not going to do very much good at all. But when you place it with 99 other dollars, I can feed a bunch of children. Or when you place it with 50 more dollars, 49 more dollars, I can feed a bunch of children. We can spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. It will not go into my pocket. It will not go into anyone's pocket. It will go to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ, carrying the gospel around the world. Jesus told us in the Word to go feed the hungry, clothe the naked, shelter the homeless. But this ministry does exactly what God told us to do. I'm asking you to sow a seed in this ministry, $1 a month. Just make the commitment. You can dial the number on the screen right now and say, Brother David, I'm going to make a commitment. I'm going to send you $1 a month to see what happens. Just one dollar. One dollar. You'll throw that away every day of your life. Send one dollar a month, not a day, but one dollar a month. Every thirty days, just drop a check in the mail. We'll even send you the envelope to mail it to us in. Dial the number on the screen, we'll mail you the envelope. Then you can send that dollar back. We're not making any profit off of this. We're just trying to encourage you to sow seed that God will bless you. Now let's go into the service already in progress right now this morning. Join us and really be blessed by it. God bless you. Those of you joining by television, we welcome you to Crossroads Community Church. We're going to have a good time in God's house today. Don't know exactly what's going on. Don't, don't really care as long as we lift up the name of Jesus. As long as Jesus Christ, the blood of Jesus, and the sacrifice that he made for me, the sacrifice that he made for you at Calvary. And if you're not born again, you're going straight to hell. It doesn't make any difference what preachers tell you what they, they can tell you anything they want to tell you. You cannot buy your way in. You cannot work your way in. You cannot sing your way in. You cannot preach your way in. Except you be born again. And, and, and when you've accepted the work that Christ did on Calvary and you've asked him to come into your heart and save your soul, that's the only time that you're going to make it. That's the only way you're going to make it into the kingdom of God. Anyway, right now, I want you to put your hands together. Make welcome Brother Corbin Whitaker as he sings for the glory of the Lord. Oh, my 
thing about it today is a lot of people want to know why in the world y'all talk about the blood and talk about Jesus all our hope is in Jesus Christ people want to know today why do you think that you're different from we are the way we are people are wondering and want one day brother James they're gonna be one where's all those people going we're gonna be on that straight and narrow way we're gonna be on that straight and narrow way you know what I'm talking about we're gonna be going through the gate that is straight we're going, to, we're going to be going down that straight and narrow way, and they're going to be headed down that broad way. They're going to say, where's all them people over there going? We're going to heaven. Hallelujah. Do you understand what I'm talking about? We're going to heaven. Why? Because the Bible says that we have to place all of our trust and all of our hope in Jesus Christ. We can't place it in man. We can't place it in money. We can't place it in anybody else or any other thing. 